Hey everyone, it's Vosk. I'm here with Tails. You're watching the Vosk One YouTube channel, and today we're going to be talking all about crypto mining profitability, ASIC miners, and GPU mining. Plus, I went into the garage just like old times if you're subscribed to the channel, and Tails asked to go up on her old seat, which is so cool. If you've been following our story, you know she went through a lot of health problems recently, and the fact that she on her own accord wants to be sitting next to me when I'm doing this stuff is so cool. If you're unfamiliar with cryptocurrency mining, the basic premise is that users like myself build custom computers or buy custom computers and rent out the hashing power from that, aka the computing power, to these cryptocurrency networks to help run them, verify transactions, and so forth. In exchange for that, every miner is compensated with a piece of cryptocurrency. This is an alternative to simply buying into cryptocurrency, especially when you buy into crypto, what you can invest is finite. Whereas with a cryptocurrency miner, you can essentially earn an infinite amount. Cryptocurrency mining can be broken out into four different pieces. With that, there would be ASIC miners, application specific integrated circuit. Essentially, this is a computer that is built for only mining that one cryptocurrency. That's it, that's all it does. It is extremely good at it but one day it'll become obsolete and it'll be absolutely worthless. Then there's GPU mining rigs, like this GPU right here behind me. These GPU mining rigs are built basically with high-end gaming graphics cards. You can use some lower end too, but pretty much the better the graphics card, the more it's gonna earn. A lot of people are fans of GPU mining because you can get into mining at your own pace. You can build a mining rig with just one GPU on it, or you can put 13 plus. This gives miners the option to say, hey, I wanna invest a ton of money and get a ton of GPUs, or I just wanna dabble in it, see how it's going, or I wanna turn my gaming computer into a money-making machine. Last summer, for reference, I built a gaming computer with two 1080Ti's. You're like, wow, dude, that's way overkill. However, that gaming computer completely paid for itself when I wasn't using it or gaming on it entirely in six months, which is pretty wild. I built the gaming computer of my dreams for free. Next up, we have CPU mining. CPU miners, you don't exactly see a farm of CPU mining rigs because it's not really a thing, but you do see huge farms of GPU mining rigs and ASIC mining rigs. So CPUs, they're sort of supplemental. Again, it's like something you would use on your gaming rig or you'd put a nice CPU on your GPU mining rig and you would also mine with it while the graphics cards are mining as well. In addition to CPU mining, there's also hard drive mining, which we talked about this entire concept on our tri mining mining rig, which is a mining rig built around mining on GPUs, hard drives, and graphics cards. It's a pretty cool concept and we need to do an update video on it soon. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you over to a screen capture video and run through some profit calculations right now of the top ASIC mining rigs and GPU mining rigs so you get a general idea of what profitability looks like right now, April 2018. The most popular Bitcoin miner is Ammoner S9. It's gonna run you about 1400 bucks shipped with the power supply per Bitmain's current prices. If we run the profit calculator for that, you can see we're gonna come out to somewhere around $4.30 a day USD after the electric cost. Next up is the Ammoner L3 Plus, which is a pretty low price, especially compared to what it used to be, which is a script ASIC miner, arguably the second most popular ASIC miner. And we scroll down through here, you can see we're gonna be pushing about $3.00. That one's a little bit high. We're gonna be seeing about three bucks a day if you round up after electric cost. Next up would be the M100D3, which is a whole ordeal in itself. If you check back through our videos, we have some videos talking about X11 mining is gonna be screwed, and sure enough, it was. On that, right now it's priced at a whopping price point of $311. Maybe they're just getting rid of stock. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. And with that miner, you're actually going to make 40 cents a day after your electric cost. And keep in mind, all of this electric cost is ran at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. We pay about 10 and a half cents uh, personally here in central Virginia. So that's the basic profit calculations for ASIC miners. If you come to the channel, we have all kinds of GPU mining rig builds. For this example, we're gonna be grabbing a seven GPU mining rig, which if uh, that's with 1070s, NVIDIA 1070s, and this is, you know, on every algorithm we see, we go down here, we can see right now it is most profitable mining Zencash. With that, this rig's gonna make about seven bucks a day. Following that, Ethereum is gonna make $6.40. We keep going down. You'll notice the 1070s are pretty well versed on Ethash as well as Equihash. Depending on what prices you get your parts at, this mining rig shown in this video will cost you somewhere probably right now between 3,500 and upwards of four grand, you know, start to finish built on this mining rig. So while we look at the numbers from that point of view, it would make sense to buy the ASIC miner. But on the contrary, the GPU miner has great resale value to all kinds of consumers, not just miners. 
as well as being more versatile you'll be able to mine smaller projects like the recently covered snow gem raven coin pearl and pigeon coin which will give you a lot of flexibility and potential to increase your earnings on a day-to-day -day basis if you're willing to take those gambles. Now that we've covered basic profitability, I wanna to touch on one more point, which is in this mining realm, it basically comes down to two pieces right now. It is ASIC mining versus GPU mining. And quite honestly, GPU mining is dying right now. There are ASIC miners being produced for more algorithms. It seems like every week a new mining algorithm that if you're unfamiliar is basically a coin or several coins that were mineable on GPU miners, AKA this is their bread and butter. This is how they make the money. And without these algorithms and these coins being taken away by the ASIC miners, these GPU miners now make less money because they have less options and the ASIC miners have more models available that can mine more cryptocurrencies. Bicycle Miner has released the two algorithm updates to their Bicycle Miner X or their X10. Now it can mine X11 Ghost as well as NIST 5. So basically there's just two projects on those two algorithms, but GPU mining for them is now dead. Within this realm of ASIC mining, there's only a few power players. If you checked our last video, we talked about how long mining, which now has Samsung's backing, which is pretty wild. In the ASIC mining world, Bitmain is the absolute monopoly. And I'd say the second player next to him would probably be Bicycle Miner. And now, I don't know how much, how long mining can shake this up, but it's gonna be very interesting to see. And the fact that they're dealing hand in hand with Samsung really makes you wonder. A lot of people were thinking that Samsung was gonna make these really nice ASIC miners and just hand them out to everybody and make ASIC mining fair. I mean, I don't know, I can't see the future, but I don't foresee Samsung producing their own ASIC miners, especially when they've entered into a partnership with How Long Mining. Also, in another recent video we had, I talked about the Ethereum ASIC miner that was just released by Bitmain, and the Ethereum devs don't think it's a big deal. Well, guess what, it is. It is a equivalent of an Ethereum mining rig, you know, basic one you can build and buy right now, but it's like a quarter of the price. So if you don't think that's gonna absolutely change the entire landscape for GPU mining, you're very naive and you're gonna learn the hard way. But don't tell me, I didn't tell you first. Also in that same video, I touched on how the founder of Zcash couldn't seem to be bothered with even giving a second to think about ASIC resistance and moving away from the algorithm Equihash being taken over by ASIC miners, which as a pretty big GPU miner was pretty disheartening. Also, I wanna make a note, in my last video, I got a ton of flack for showing an ASIC miner after I recently spoke out against them. Well, here's the deal. Voscoin is a cryptocurrency YouTube channel with a focus on mining. And within that focus is a focus on GPU mining because that's what I love the most, okay? And regardless, we're gonna continue to show mining rigs. And if anyone sends us a mining rig, we are absolutely gonna review it and it'd be ridiculous not to. Furthermore, I can have an opinion and still review other products. I've always strived to have a no bullshit crypto channel. And moving forward, that is still always my goal. But I'm not just gonna turn a blind eye to a huge sector of mining. And what is the big deal of reviewing an ASIC miner that's for Bitcoin? Bitcoin has been dominated by ASIC miners for a long time. And again, I think you're very naive if you think that's ever gonna change. Same with Litecoin. What I don't wanna see is Equihash AKA Zcash, Zencash, and so forth, that algorithm being eaten up by ASIC miners. If you're wondering how to stay profitable in a questionable time like right now, that's why we create our new series on hot new small project coins that could have a potential of a big upside. Again, this isn't professional investment advice, but I wanna show you guys that there's other unique options. You know, if you just build a rig and you throw it on Ethereum and you wonder why you don't have Lambos, well, don't wonder because it's no surprise. If you go out there and you work a little bit harder and you find these harder to find projects or you follow us on the Bosco YouTube channel, we'll show you some of them, you have potential to make more money. It's easy to throw your rig on Ethereum or Zcash. There's so many write-ups on it, so many tutorials. We had the first main one on Snowgem and Pigeon Coin. So that's just an example of how small those projects would be. Will they have a big upside? Will you get a lot of money off it? I don't know, but it is a unique, cool, small project. And on that note, that's why we think Ravencoin and Pigeoncoin and all the projects that are spawning that are similar are so interesting because they have a focus in the root of their development on ASIC resistance. So ASIC resistance means that their coin, aka that, or their algorithm that their coin is mined on is going to be harder to create an ASIC miner for it. On that same note, we can, I wanna give a huge props to Monero and Sumo Coin for forking their coins 
off of the kryptonite algorithm and creating new algorithms that the kryptonite ASIC miners could not work on. That was a massive blow and a big move and I don't even think people give them enough credit for doing that because Monero especially is a top coin. Look at Ethereum, the second biggest crypto, a leader in the cryptocurrency space, couldn't seem to be bothered. So ultimately guys, from a YouTuber point of view, I'm gonna continue to review projects that are fun, interesting, and I think that you all should hear about. And you know whether that's a GPU mining rig build or an ASIC miner, just work with me here. I'm trying to bring you guys fun, interesting content. You, you can't just turn a blind eye to the other half. ASIC miners need to know about GPU mining and GPU mining, GPU miners especially need to pay attention to ASIC miners and their development. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope that you keep a positive outlook because being down, getting negative doesn't solve anything. So we're gonna continue doing what we're doing. We're gonna continue the fight and we're gonna keep reviewing every piece of cryptocurrency that we can get our hands on. Hope you guys drop a comment on this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to BossCoin, we'll see you next time. I'll be home.